G'day guys, Simzy from Simply Fit here. So today I want to show you a good core warm up. It's my ab giant set. It probably takes five minutes to go through. I do it every session and when I train abs and cardio, I'll do it four times in a session. Uh, follow along, watch the video, I'll describe it as we go. But like I said, abs are very good to do every day. It's good for general fitness and obviously they look good if you get lean. So. Follow along with me and let's get into it. So we're starting off with just an easy crunch. So you're not doing a sit up, you're just doing a crunch. I'm going to be doing 20 reps. With this whole session, you can choose how many reps you do. You can start off at five for each movement. So next we're moving into a side crunch. This is working the external obliques and I'm going to do 20 reps again. Note my legs are apart. Um, my top leg is moving very minimal and I'm just blowing the air out as I do the crunches. Once I complete the 20 I'm going to straight away move into 20 with my upper leg moving out so I'm trying to fully make that muscle as long as I can and as short as I can. So you've got four main muscles in your abs. You've got your transverse abdominis which is located underneath your obliques. It's the deepest part of your um, abdominals. You've got the rectus abdominis, which is the abs that everybody sees. And you've got your internal and external obliques, which are the running down the sides of your abs. So I'm heading now into my other side, same as before. I'm going to do 20 reps. And then I'm going to do 20 reps with my leg moving and my knee trying to touch my elbow or close as I can to it. So just like every other body part, when you're training abs, your focus should be on making the muscle as long as it can get and then as short as it can get. So getting a full lengthening and contraction of the muscle. I'm blowing the air out as I'm contracting the muscle and I'm just focusing on getting as much connection with my mind to that muscle as I can. You see my hands touching the oblique there. I find when you touch the muscle you get a good connection. So now we're going to do what's called figure eights. So all you're doing is like a leg raise, put your hands underneath your lower back and make a diamond between your fingers and you're making the figure eight movement. And I'm going to do around about 10 figure eights. Next thing here is a bicycle. So the keys for this one is it's your opposite knee to opposite elbow and you want to be at a a severe angle to your body so it wants to feel a bit awkward in your groin in your adductors and adductors. Again if you think about the abs working in lines we're now working diagonally across our body so it's still working the four main muscles of the abs but you're working now diagonally across the body to get a different type of contraction. So like I said at the start of the video this should take you around five to seven minutes to complete the set. It's a very good warm-up to do before every session so the ninth and final movement of this ab giant set is just a leg raise. So you want to control the leg raise the whole time, not just the raise, you want to uh, control the decline as well. Again, thanks for watching the video guys. If you enjoyed it, can you give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the Simply Fit YouTube channel for more exciting training videos and tips.